Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Aquarius. So this is going to be a you and them love reading. I'll have your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This is someone you are connected to energetically, romantically, someone that you're thinking about and someone who is thinking about you. I'm recording this message for the energies of June, but I do ask these readings to be timeless and give you something you need to hear when you need to hear it. For your cards, Aquarius, I'll be using the Mystical Manga Tarot for your person, the traditional Manga Tarot, and this is a brand new deck. I did do an unboxing and like an impromptu reading on Patreon that I have set to public. If you guys want to check that out, that's free. And for your clarifiers, I have the Fortune Telling Tarot deck by Yoshitaka Mano here. So let's get started. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter? What is Aquarius thinking overall about this connection or potential connection right now? What is Aquarius thinking overall? What is Aquarius thinking? What are some things going on in the daily life could be affecting this connection? What is happening in your heart space? How are you feeling? How are you feeling about your person? What intentions do you have towards this connection? And what is a potential outcome in the near future, or whenever you are meant to hear this message. Okay, let's get the cards for your person. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter for the person connected to or coming towards Aquarius? What is the heart of the matter for the person on Aquarius's mind? What are some things going on in the daily life could be affecting this connection? What is happening? Thank goodness, their cards are a little jumpy. What is happening in their heart space? How are they feeling? How are they feeling about Aquarius? What intentions do they have towards this connection? And what is a potential outcome in the near future for whenever, for whenever you are meant to hear this message? Okay. We do have the King of Cups here on the bottom of the deck. Pisces energy, Scorpio Cancer could be significant, but I do have to say there could be somebody thinking pretty, you know, pretty deeply about you and this connection and where it's going. There could be a lot of feelings here. I don't know if they've been fully expressed yet. For me, these bottom of the deck energies is what somebody is feeling, what they're very much aware of, could be affecting the entire reading, but maybe hasn't like fully been explored. I do see something peeking out. These cards are new and I don't know them yet, so I kind of want to see what this is that is here. We have... Wow, the chariot. Okay, interesting how the chariot just like wanted to be revealed there. Cancer energy could be significant, but I feel like if there's something that somebody's been holding in, that they've been feeling, maybe even thinking very deeply about and becoming more and more aware, they could be working up the confidence to just take a step and do something, say something, could even take you by surprise. Just the way that card was just kind of wanting to come out. I don't know. It almost feels like they're getting everything all right and like getting that confidence kind of built up and then all of a sudden they could just charge with that Aquarius energy just step forward do something and I feel like you know there's definitely somebody somebody that you have on your mind now if there's nobody specific on your mind you could be setting some intentions and calling something in and it looks it looks really good but for many of you you do know who is on your mind for the heart of the matter you have a ten of pentacles here virgo energy could be significant strong in your chart of your persons but i think you know some of you could be doing some intention setting some of you could be thinking about somebody that you feel like you could be very happy with. The Ten of Pentacles is an energy of somebody that it's like you could look down the road and imagine them like in that picture with you. You can imagine a life together. You could think about, you know, how you could be really happy, things you could do, places you could go, you know, like a home even you can build together with the Ten of Pentacles. It's all those beautiful energies, something stable, something lasting. And I feel like there's something coming towards you. I love this Ten of Pentacles because it feels like this person here is kind of in that nine of pentacles energy. She's kind of here beyond, you know, the gate a little bit working on her happiness. And when I say her, obviously doesn't have anything to do with gender. I'm just talking about the figure here in the picture. And then somebody is coming towards, you know, this person because they've been kind of getting in their own energy. Somebody who has been on their way maybe for some time because it looks like a traveler here is showing up. And it's because you've kind of balanced some things out within yourself. But 
but you could be thinking about somebody and feeling like you're ready. You're ready for the real thing. Like this could be it. And, um, and you're wanting that to happen. Your person has a two of pentacles. Capricorn energy could be significant here. With the two of pentacles, we have that infinity symbol, which in a love reading, it always makes me think of those connections. Sometimes the two of pentacles can represent two people that, you know, maybe shared past lives together and come in and out of each other's lives and experiences and are always drawn towards one another and coming back together and meeting up over and over and having these experiences because you just feel each other's energy and something feels right. And I don't always see that, you know, I trust my intuition, like the first thing I see and think of when I see a card, I don't always see that with the two of pentacles, but for some reason I'm seeing this here. It's like this person is thinking about you, they're thinking about the connection, they're aware, especially the way this infinity symbol is up so close to where they're, you know, they're looking here, they're looking at the connection and thinking about it all and thinking, you know what, there's something to this, there's something more. I feel like it is somebody trying to find a little balance in their life, the two of pentacles is always somebody who could have a lot on their plate. I feel like we all sort of do, you know, but it's like a lot that they're managing. Sometimes the two of pentacles can be somebody that's kind of trying to, you know, put a little bit of their feelings, you know, in the background while they get some things sorted out with their security, while they while they work things out. But for me, it's somebody trying to find their balance a little bit, could also be thinking about you, you know, making some decisions, the potential of this connection, and trying to get some things sorted out in their life so that they can figure out how to make it all work, how to make it all fit. But I'm going to go ahead and pull a clarifier and see. So much came through with that. And uh, and sometimes the two of pentacles is just somebody trying to be practical and find some balance while they're thinking about you and where to go next or a decision to make. But I just saw like a pretty significant connection. Spirit, why do we have the two of pentacles, ten of cups? Okay, that doesn't surprise me at all. And I have to say... The Ten of Cups is here in your potential outcome, not to give spoilers or anything, but there's a little bit of mirroring energy because you've, you've set your mind for the Ten of Pentacles, and that's also coming up over here in your person's energy. So it's like, I feel like both of you, in a sense, are setting, you know, I don't know, are looking for that, are looking for that connection, are looking for something lasting. And with this Two of Pentacles and this ten, clarified by the Ten of Cups for your person, I feel like they're getting some things balanced and sorted out because they're starting to feel like you could be that one. I mean, with that 10 of cups person for me, and I say it, if you watch my readings, it's that person you can, you know, it's friends, it's romantic, it's your cups full, it's, you know, lasting, it's happy, it's that person that's like, for me, it's like road trips and sunrises and early morning, like coffee in a diner, like in the mountains somewhere. Like, it's funny how I think of that, but I have this moment in my life where it was funny. It was like me and my person just decided we were going to spontaneously drive to Tennessee and watch the sunrise in the mountains. And we ended up, the car broke down and we ended up in this diner in the middle of the night, but it was the most fun. And we ended up spending the whole day in that town because we had to get the car like repaired. And then, and then we ended up getting to see the sunrise the next day, but it was so funny. And the fact that I was drawn to that story, it almost could be like, maybe something's been a little delayed, like because somebody's got some things that they need to work out and solve in their life. But it's like, you're the person that they see. You're the person they want to be with. You're the person they want to watch those sunrises with. It's just so interesting to me that that came into my mind. Maybe something has been delayed and it's clear. We'll talk about it when we get to it because I can see the big picture of this. But it hasn't changed the way this person feels or what they're hoping for with you. Um, in your daily life, you've got the Knight of Wands. Leo energy could be significant, but I have to say the Knight of Wands for me can be a lot of attraction and interest. It can be chemistry. It can be, you know, meeting someone or seeing them or getting to know them and just wanting to know them more, wanting to talk more, wanting to be around them. It could be a lot of heat when the two of you get together. You could be like instantly drawn to one another with this energy. You could be wanting to take initiative, take action, do something, make something happen, but there's some Something that you're excited about. There's something that you find interesting. And I do feel like there could be something that you're wanting to do or say, or you're just wanting this to move. You're wanting to go for it. You're wanting to take a chance. You could be wanting to do something very spontaneous. Your person has the hanged man. And I told you, I saw that little pause. And it's so interesting because I hadn't thought about that in years. Like that was literally the 90s <laughs> when that happened. And um, 
And that day that we spent in that town unplanned, you know, it's like sometimes things will just be put on pause, but it's so that the next thing can happen at the right moment, you know. And with this hanged man energy, Pisces can be significant. It is a patient energy. It is an understanding energy. It is when the universe puts something on hold till people get in the place that they really need to be. But it's so different, you know, from this Knight of Wands because there's something about let's go for it. And there's something about this person that, you know, there's something that they're that they're waiting for, they're hoping for. Maybe they have been waiting for someone like you or hoping for someone like you. Maybe they're waiting for the right moment or maybe they're just feeling like they're with the two of pentacles. They're trying to sort out some practical things and it's like they're not there yet. Spirit, why do we have the hanged man energy in the daily life for this person? Judgment card. And we got the page of cups on the bottom of the deck. Scorpio, Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy could be significant, but I feel like their heart just goes towards you. Whether it makes sense or not, whether your lives, you know, fit at this moment or not, it's like their heart just keeps traveling towards you. I think you're the person they think about. We've got the hanged man energy clarified by the judgment card. Two very powerful major arcanas here. And the judgment is a little bit different from the hanged man energy because this is patient. This is understanding. Good things take time. You know, sometimes things are delayed, but it's, you know, for a reason. It's for something to happen at the right time in the right way. But the judgment card is the universe blowing the trumpet and saying the time is now. It's time. To, and I just saw 1122 on the time on this video, which are two master numbers, which are very significant. Some of you could be seeing repeating numbers. You know, you could be dealing with a strong soul connection. But somebody who's maybe been waiting for the right moment, waiting for the right time to take a step to do something to say something the universe could be blowing the trumpet and saying it's time to go for it it's time to take this step and i just saw 1144 so more just really powerful really significant numbers like they could be seeing signs of you seeing your name thinking of you could be that they can't get you off their mind they know that it's time to do something so decisive the judgment card can be somebody wanting to resurrect something at times so sometimes it can be hearing from somebody that maybe you didn't expect to because they're wanting to talk but really it's a turning point Whenever the judgment card comes into a reading, some of the challenging things from the past are in the past once and for all. And you step forward into, you know, the future, into a positive space. You start to experience some heaven on earth. It's, you know, for me in a love relationship, it's two people that have found themselves being open and honest and genuine with one another. And maybe somebody was taking a little time to sort some things out, but I feel like they found themselves in the process. And because of that, it's like it's leading them straight to you. And in your heart space, you got the page of wands. Like, you're ready for this. You're interested. I feel like you've been doing your inner work. I feel like you've been working, you know, on your own things, on yourself, maybe doing some things you're excited about that you're interested in. And because of that, I feel like it could be leading you right towards the right person, the right time, the right moment. I feel like you do want to talk. You would like to hear it from this person. You could be hoping for a message or wanting to reach out or wanting to say something. Could be a little tentative with the page of wands. It's like it doesn't all have to happen right this minute, but let's talk, you know, and you could be one to take some initiative. Let's go ahead and see what you could be wanting to talk about here with this page of wands. Spirit, why do we have this page of wands in Aquarius' heart space? Why do we have this page of wands? And I just thought Capricorn just for a second. If I called you guys Capricorn earlier, I do apologize. If somebody has a Capricorn they're dealing with, or strong Capricorn in their chart, there could be something up there, but it's interesting. It just came into my mind and I almost said that. Okay. Why do we have the Page of Wands for Aquarius? Interesting. Five of Pentacles. Okay. Taurus energy could be significant. It's interesting that it's Earth that came out, but I just did Capricorn and they had this in their heart space. It is the energy of feeling, you know, out in the cold and wanted, discouraged. Like you, you know, you know that something is meant to be yours. Something is meant to happen and you're wanting it. You're hoping for it, but you just don't see how it all can come together. And with the Five of Pentacles, it's really always the reminder reminder that, you know, with the traditional card, there's that beautiful church window. It's like the things you're hoping for, the love, everything, the warmth, what you're, the abundance, what the universe has wanted to give you is there, but you can't necessarily see it because you're looking at the disappointments and the things that have gone wrong, but it's clarifying the page of wands. So there could be somebody that you're hoping to hear from, maybe somebody who has been quiet, has been maybe leaving you like a little bit wondering like what's going on or where are you, are you at, you know, or where this can go um but 
it's like, I feel like you just want to bring some things out in the open. You don't want to be left wondering. You don't want to be left waiting. It's like, let's have a conversation. If it happens, it happens. If not, not, but just let me know. Like you want to know. Your person in their heart space has the nine of swords. Gemini energy could be significant. Just going to grab a sip of water real quick. It's interesting. I got the nine of swords and it's in the heart space. And whenever I see swords in the heart space, I do feel like it's somebody could be overthinking their emotions a little bit, but my throat got dry. It immediately got tight. Like could be like some throat shock or stuff going on. Like somebody having all these things that are building up, they're tossing and turning. They're thinking about you. They could be longing for you. They could be waking in the night, you know, dreaming about you, like all of this energy, knowing it's time to say something, do something, something decisive, something significant. The whole universe could be like, okay, just go, you know, and they're just so anxious. Like, what do I do? What do I say? And how do I, you know, how do I make this happen? But there's definitely some overthinking I feel like sometimes this nine of swords can somebody is somebody like wanting to do something but sort of worrying about like the worst possible outcome like oh I want to say something I want to do something oh but what if I'm rejected or what and you know what I just I just picked up this deck and yeah okay I was trying to think when I last shuffled it because I didn't notice what was on the bottom of the deck before when we had the judgment card come out for your person in their daily life I just picked this up and saw on the bottom of the deck, we have the lover's energy. It's interesting that I didn't notice because I almost always look at the bottom of the deck. But once again, it's almost like something, like something has been on pause or something has been a little delayed. And then all of a sudden, it's like you're going to see it and you're just going to know Gemini energy for this lover's um, card. But I feel like this there's somebody that is very aware of you and this connection and where this can go, but there are all kinds of anxious about it. So let's go ahead and see. Spirit, why do we have the nine of swords? Why do we have the nine of swords in the heart space for this person who is connected to Aquarius? We got the seven of wands. Okay, it's not a bad, it's not a bad energy. Seven of wands, and I'm gonna go ahead and get that traditional imagery just so we can like look at it and uh, and talk about it. Um, it is somebody who's getting some things sorted out. And I feel like I kind of saw that with the two of pentacles. Like somebody who maybe, you know, I don't know, has a really demanding job or family or a lot of different things going on. They're trying to juggle, trying to sort out, could be, you know, working through things with their finances and stuff. And it's like the love is there. It's undeniable, but it's almost like they can't really figure out how to all, how to all make it come together in like a practical way. And I think what they're realizing in their heart space and something they're kind of stressed about is that if they want this to work, if they want this to happen, they're going to have to prioritize. They're going to have to decide what's most important. And that's what the seven of wands is like all about. It is a hero's card. It's somebody taking the higher ground. It's somebody who's taken a stand for what's important, saying no to the things that don't serve so they can say yes to what is right. And it's interesting. I was like looking through and I looked through the deck twice and I didn't see, I didn't see it because um, I wanted to show you guys this, this card, but look. When I found it in the middle, right behind it is the emperor. Somebody could really be finding themselves. Aries energy, Leo for the seven of wands could be significant. Somebody could definitely be prioritizing because we saw the lovers. We saw, we're seeing the emperor because this is a strong connection. They can't deny it. But with the seven of wands, this is somebody who is realizing if they want to have time, if they want to have energy, if they want to prioritize, if they want to move towards this and they're passionate, they're interested, they're attracted, they're going to have to say some really important no's to things that just don't serve so that they can say yes to what matters most. And for some reason, that's what they're feeling anxious about. Maybe it is somebody struggles to have healthy boundaries and they're just being run all over the place. And, you know, and they know that if they want to have anything, you know, to offer that they're going to have to, you know, have that time, have that energy, be free, like free to have some free time just to be, just to be together. 
in your intentions, you've got the Page of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy could be significant. But once again, you're interested. You got the Page of Wands. You got the Page of Pentacles. It's like you're interested. You want to talk. I feel like you're in that sense. Like it doesn't all have to happen right this minute. I know what I want. I know what I hope for. You know, but I'd like to just talk. I'd like to hear your voice. I'd like to see you. I'd like to, you know, see what can happen. See where this, you know, see where this can go. And, um, you know, if there's really something here. Let's see. Spirit, why do we have the page of coins in Capricorn's, I'm uh, sorry, Aquarius's intentions? I don't know why Capricorn keeps coming into my mind. Somebody could have really strong Capricorn in their chart. And it is like a very earthy energy here with this page of pentacles. Um, Capricorn season for some could have been very significant. Maybe December, January, something could have happened. Um, and we have the Knight of Cups. And it's interesting because that Knight of Cups is coming up on your person's side as well. World card on the bottom of the deck. All the fixed energies. Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio could be significant. But there's something about something coming together in a positive, successful way. Overcoming the odds. Wrapping up an old cycle. A connection that you feel, that you know, that you're aware of. No matter where you are, it's like you know, you know that there's something. There's something coming towards you and I feel like you're ready for it. We've got the page of coins clarified by the knight of cups and that knight of cups just jumped out i almost feel like the two of you could you know if you're just getting to know each other could suddenly have a really deep conversation you know just about how you feel how you, maybe how you feel about each other or other things that you've been through but it's like if something starts a little tentative but there's a lot of depth behind it and I feel like, you know, you could be falling for someone, you could be wanting to take a step, make an offer, or you could be, you know, having this coming towards you, but you know, like, you know that you're ready, like, you know, in your heart, you're ready for something that is real, something that is from the heart. Your person's intentions are the fool. Aries and Aquarius energy could be significant, and this is somebody who wants to take a leap. It's a fresh start. It's a new beginning. Maybe they're just getting some things fried, um, sorted out in their life because they have had a lot of stress and a lot going on. And it's like they haven't felt quite as free to just do the things they want to do, say the things they want to say. But with the Fool card, this is somebody who could want to do something very spontaneous. Um, for some of you that are hoping for new, 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 there could be somebody completely new coming in. Many of you, though, that person on your mind could really surprise you. This is somebody who's cleared some karma. They've sorted some things out. And it's like they're more ready than ever to take a step, maybe a step they've never taken before. I want to see what this full energy is all about. But I think somebody's drawn to you, they're interested in you, and they might just want to do something very spontaneous to let you know. And yeah, we've got the King of Cups. Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Can't deny this overthinking energy here that is going on. But ultimately... We've got the Fool clarified by the King of Cups. And we saw the King of Cups on the bottom of the deck at the beginning of this whole reading. Somebody could be thinking very deeply about you, about where they're, what they're feeling, where this could go. And it feels like they know if they want this to work, they're going to have to take a leap, but not just do, you know, take a leap. They've got to take a leap from the heart. They got to be willing to open up and express something, maybe something they've never expressed in quite this way. And I feel like somebody could just do something really spontaneous. Now, you had a lot of cards jump out for your potential outcome, but it felt like a little bit of a journey. And I kind of just felt like, you know, well, let's, let's go on it. Let's see what it's all about. Um, I'll do the signs real quick and then we'll get into this. Seven of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Four of Pentacles, High Priestess. Ten of Cups, Aquarius, all the fixed energies, um, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, strong Sagittarius for me, Capricorn, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, and Pisces could be significant here. With the Seven of Swords, there could definitely be some things that you are keeping to yourself, sorting out, deciding what's important to you, what's not, who to talk to about what and when. It's here with the Wheel of Fortune. So there definitely could be some things that you have been holding in, sorting out, deciding. With this Four of Pentacles, maybe something that you've held on to for quite some time. And um, 
maybe you've been taking some time and sorting out some things with your security and with you know your stability and things like that maybe you've been taking a little time for yourself but i do feel like there is this energy that there could be somebody you're thinking about somebody you have feelings for somebody that you could even want a lot more with clearly you want the ten of pentacles but the four of pentacles is somebody you know who isn't fully satisfied with what they have and where they're at but they're a little nervous to ask for more because sometimes they're nervous they could lose what they have so you could be keeping Keeping a little bit of what you're feeling to yourself because you know it's like you don't want to you're a little nervous about taking that chance we've got this high priestess here there's a lot of quiet energy very psychic energy like you could be picking up on this person you could be feeling like something very deep something you know very um I just got sincere like you just know your intuition is on point but you could be holding on and keeping a little bit to yourself because you're just not sure but we have these beautiful energies the wheel of fortune and the ten of cups and we'll talk about that in just a minute but i want to get a clarifier on this energy spirit why do we have the seven of swords the four of pentacles and the high priestess you've got the three of cups and the four of cups knight of pentacles on the bottom of the deck um, cancer energy could be significant Taurus here could be taking your time waiting for the right moment um, because honestly you've faced your own share of disappointment in your life and um, and I think there's been times you've gotten your hopes up and then you've been disappointed and so in a sense it's almost like you want to take your time and you don't want to put yourself out there if you know it's not going to work you definitely don't want to be friend zoned that's <laughs> just the worst thing I think the most devastating thing that ever happened to me in my life was when I told, told somebody that I was falling for them and they were like, well, um, I'm not really in that place. You're a good person. I hope we can be friends. Like, I just wanted to die. <laughs> it was just the worst thing. Um, and we're friends. <laughs> But I feel like it's like, I don't feel like, I feel like that's not what you want. You could be just like, you know, buying your time and keeping a little bit to yourself um, until you really know a little better, you know, what can happen, where it can go. Because with this Wheel of Fortune and this Ten of Cups, what you want to move towards and the opportunity that you want is not just friends, but love and fulfillment and happiness and something you know that i talked about with all that, that um that ten of cups energy that came up for your person it's like they're thinking this about you you're thinking this about them um i feel like the universe is gonna come in when you get the judgment card and the wheel of fortune that is like the universe coming in and moving some things along if the two of you both have been like a little stuck or a little unsure of how to talk about this something could spontaneously happen where it just has to come out um but i feel like you're willing to go for it if you feel like this can really be it your person for the potential outcome has the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups jumped out in reverse, and the Knight of Cups. So here we have the Ten of Pentacles on both sides. What you want and the potential outcome for the person, the Ten of Cups on both sides, what they want and the potential outcome for you. There's somebody that's looking for exactly you who you are, what you have to offer, and it's somebody that you're looking for too. And I have to say the universe is also working on it. I do feel like this is something that's gonna come together. I'm not saying there won't be a few bumps in the road or a few stops and starts, but where it is headed with the 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles and your potential outcome is something lasting, something very happy. But it's very interesting because with the 10 of pentacles, the nine of cups in reverse and the knight of cups, what I am seeing is somebody is having a realization with this Ten of Pentacles. Oh, and Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio could be significant. Somebody's having a realization that you're the person. You're the person they want to spend their nights with, their days with, to be with, to be around. And they don't want to just be wishing and hoping. They don't want to be sitting with their arms crossed just wishing for something to happen. With the Knight of Cups, I think to their realizing, if I want this to happen, I got to make it happen. I gotta take that step. I gotta open up my heart. I gotta be vulnerable for that moment. And I just gotta say what I feel and see where it can go. 
I don't necessarily know what the outcome is or where this is leading, but my feelings for you are undeniable. And I have to take a step, I have to take a chance, and I have to see what can happen. And I feel like, like that's exactly what they're going to do. So that is the message I have for you. I do hope that something in here spoke to everyone who was guided to this reading. If you like the message, please put a like. If you haven't subscribed, I would love if you would. If you'd like to check out my Patreon or order a personal reading, the links are in the description box of this video. You can see all of that. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of June. I'll be bringing more readings very soon. Thank you so much.